Up to this point, all the storing and recalling of snapshot information has recalled pretty much every setting on the desk. As we said at the beginning, when you make or update a snapshot, every setting or parameter is stored. When we fire snapshots, it may be that we don't want to recall all the information. We may want to filter it so that only some parameters are recalled. We do this through the use of scopes. There are several scopes, so let's have a look at each of them. The first scope to set is the global scope. Touching the global scope button opens up scope window. The basic idea with the scopes is that anything with a green tick will be recalled and anything with a red cross will not be recalled. It's divided up into categories, channel type and functions within the channel. You'll notice that for each module, input, delay, filters, EQ, etc., there are two columns, recall and update. The recall column determines if settings will be recalled when a snapshot is fired, and the update column determines if settings will be updated when the update group button is pressed. It's probably easiest to see this with a real example. So I've set the global scope as follows. Looking at just the input channels row, these are the recall and update settings just for input channels, you can see that the delay, inserts, group routing and output routing are not set to recall. The red crosses in the recall columns set this. So when any snapshot is fired, these items will not change, essentially becoming manual controls on the surface. Only items with ticks, EQ, dynamics, aux sends, faders, etc. will change with snapshot programming. I've also set the group update scope so that only input trim, aux sends and faders will be updated by the group update function. So earlier, when we were updating groups, either absolutely or relatively, only the channel parameters that are ticked here will be updated, and the other channel settings will be unaffected by the group update action.